So today I'm going to be unboxing a pretty cool product that sort of arrived in the mail for NCIX use. This is an ET2400 series all-in-one PC from ASUS. And I'm actually going to open this up and then we're going to throw it over on the test bench once I've got it all opened up so we can find out what the specs of this machine are. Because right now all I know is the series. I don't know how much RAM it has, I don't know how big the hard drive is, all of that good stuff, like what kind of CPU is installed. So I'm just going to do what I do and that is uh, I'm just going to break seals and show you guys the product and then we will go from there. So I broke the seal. And now I'm showing you guys, uh, oh, here's a warranty card. So they put that somewhere where you'll definitely find it. There we go. And uh, why don't we find out what kind of warranty we have on this particular all-in-one PC from ASUS. Well, there you can fill that in. There's your serial number, that's handy. Uh, warranty conditions, 12 months. Oh, okay, no, no, for example, 12 months means 24, 12, 12 months. Okay, oh, here we go. So ASUS will provide warranty service for any more than three bright dots or five dark dots, so that is on the LCD. So that's bright pixels or dead pixels. Um, okay. Oh, neat. Let's keep going. And we've got some foam. So give me a second, I'm just going to unpack this and then we'll go from there. Okay, accessory wise. Uh, you, oh, it comes packed in a nice closed cell foam. So very, very, very durable shipping material. This is one of my favorites, personally. Uh, let's see what we got for accessories. So, first things first, we got this. That appears to be an IR sensor. Okay? Plugs in via USB. Good. Next, we have what appears to be a mouse. Yeah. Just your average wired mouse. Well, not average. I mean, it's quite small. I have small hands, and this is a small mouse. See? Look, look at that. I mean, these are my fingers. Look how short my fingers are. Okay. So there's that. Next, we have a power cord, which is your standard notebook style power cord, and then we have a power brick. Now for this one, I'm going to whip out the iPhone, yeah, yeah, cameraman's trying to give me his iPhone, but I have an iPhone now too, smart guy. Yeah, okay, fine, we'll use your iPhone. Okay, so that is how big it is compared to an iPhone, okay, and that is how thick it is compared to an iPhone. This is a big old power brick. Be happy that this is not for your laptop because it weighs like 60 pounds. Well, no, it doesn't weigh 60 pounds, but it's heavy. Since this is a desktop PC though, it's not really that big of a concern. Well, it's not a big concern at all. Next, we have some kind of a remote, which if we put this on demo in the store, someone will surely steal within a matter of minutes. Not that I'm saying that that's an invitation to steal it, because it's really inconvenient when people do that, by the way, but it will happen. And for whatever reason, it takes three batteries. Three AAA batteries. I mean, who has three AAA batteries, really? I've never seen a media center remote that takes three batteries or AAA batteries. I'm a big fan of AA batteries because they're common and cheap. And I like things that are cheap. There we go. Okay, so it's got all your standard media. Oh, it lights up. Look at that. The whole thing is illuminated. Oh, okay, well, it went away. Yeah, yeah, press the button. Yeah, there. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. That, maybe that's why it takes three batteries. Maybe that's what the extra battery is for. Power the light. Okay. Next, we have a keyboard. Pretty run-of-the-mill keyboard. I would probably recommend getting a different keyboard and mouse if you're going to use this for any sort of extended period of time throughout the day. All right, now... Let's do this. Ah, I'm ripping off plastic. Yes. Success. Lots of plastic. This is the all-in-one PC itself. And we now get our first hint as to what is the spec of this machine because there are stickers on the front that indicate to us some of those specifications. So, first of all, we can see that it runs Windows 7. Next, we can see that it has an Intel Core i5 processor, which basically means that it rocks, okay? And we have NVIDIA GeForce 310M 512 meg graphics, which basically means that it is uh, capable of playing like HD videos back, which the Core i5 would anyway. It is Energy Star compliant, 
It comes with some kind of uh, pre-installed trial of Office 2010. Okay. Over here we have, ooh, distortion free, audio bass enhancement, immersive surround sound. So they're calling this Sonic Master. That is for crystal pure surround reproduction. It is fine tuned for original recording production. And then here there's a little bubble that has like some waves, like real sound, which is uh, yellow, and then before tuning, which is green, which is clearly way off, and then after tuning, which is very close to the yellow. So, close to real sound. Excellent. Okay, you can actually see the sound bar here at the bottom of the screen, so it's quite large actually, look at that. So the sound bar goes all the way across the entire bottom of the all-in-one PC. Up here at the top, we have a webcam, Okay, we have a webcam. And then over here, we have an accurate multi-touch screen. Yeah, I don't know what that's for. We'll figure that out later. Uh, okay, so it has an accurate multi-touch screen. HDMI in, so you can play HD content from your notebook or other multimedia devices. That's pretty neat. That's something that I often feel is missing from notebooks or from uh, all-in-one PCs, is the ability to plug something else into it and use it as a monitor, should you so desire. You can easily upgrade the memory, and it supports their performance, 15% uh, super hybrid engine. Basically means you can turn the performance up. It's kind of like overclocking. Okay, let's look around at the back of the all-in-one PC where we find some ventilation. So there's clearly a, an aluminum heat sink here, as well as one over here on the other side. I can't I don't know if you can see where I'm pointing. Yes, you can. All right, and that's where we have ventilation coming from. Here's our easy memory upgrade panel. I'm just gonna take the plastic off there. Very, very, very shiny finish overall on this all-in-one PC. So if you're down with shiny, you are down with this all-in-one PC. Very, very shiny. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got on the side in terms of inputs and outputs and all that kind of stuff. We have our DVD multi-recorder. We have a power button, uh, volume up, menu, and volume down. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around. Okay, and then on the other side, we have two USB ports, headphones, microphone, and a multi-card reader. Here on the back, under the easy memory slot, which I'm just gonna, oh, is that even the easy memory slot? Well, how the devil does this work? Hold on a minute. That doesn't seem very easy at all. Okay, guys, feel free to post comments and let me know how... Oh, I think I get it, I get it. There's a screw here. So you undo this screw and then you pull out this tab and then you have access to the memory. Because this seems too easy for a toddler, a curious toddler, to come along, take this off and like and like eat your memory if, it, if there wasn't another metal plate there. So I get it now. Okay, and down here we've got four more USB ports, a Kensington lock, antenna, VGA, okay, HDMI in, uh, gigabit Ethernet as well as power in. So let's go plug this baby in and see what it's all about. All right, so we're finally booted up to the desktop. It did take a little while, but it got itself all initialized up and all that good stuff. So let's have a look at what comes pre-installed on the ASUS all-in-one PC that we're looking at today. So there's the super hybrid engine. So that's our, oh, UAC is kicking in, here we go. Super hybrid engine is, okay, we've got some more UAC going on. Something about easy update. Uh, okay, let's do that later. Cancel. Okay, yeah, I want to exit the program. Okay, super hybrid engine. Here we go. After press OK, system will be rebooted to make your change. Okay, no, I don't want to reboot right now. Okay, we've also got Trend Micro Titanium, Asus Sonic Master, which is something to do with the uh, sound, evidently. Okay, you can either use the internal laptop speakers or probably something else if you plug it in, but right now you can't. So vocal clarity, surround, bass, adaptive volume, lower high. Okay, interesting. Okay, next we have the Vibe Fun Center. Ooh, actually let's get back to that later because that sounds fun. Okay, we got web storage, we got triple E cam, so that's our webcam, triple E cinema, which is evidently some kind of media player software. Okay, so videos. Okay, you can add stuff to your library, movies, music. Ooh, you memo. And there's a little smiley face, cool. Oh yeah, right, okay, so I can write a memo. Yeah, yeah, okay, so can't, oh, hold on, select a memo pad background, sure, let's go with pink. Okay, oh, and then I can select this kind of marker. Oh, open the cover, open, okay. I can select, uh, oh, okay, let's go with this kind of marker. Cam, man, oh, man. Mac. 
Yeah. Okay, so I can clear all or I can erase. Oh yeah, erasing doesn't work very well. I highly recommend not using that eraser because it works like a real eraser, which is not very effective. Oh, you can choose all kinds of different colors though for your markers, which is kind of neat. Even gray and black. You can use like a, this kind of thing. Okay, so let's exit that. So there's our memo pad. Okay, we have ePaint, which is probably, again, some kind of touchscreen based thing. Ooh, this looks fun. So I can put in a truck. No. Yeah, there we go. And then I can like color it and stuff. I got my crayon, I got my green. So I'm gonna make a green truck. If you had kids, I'm sure this will be like a big hit and then they can print it out and waste all your toner and ink and then you'll be really happy. But still, come on, that's pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, so I made myself a green and red truck. No, I don't think I wanna save those changes. Yeah, we're not gonna be saving those changes. Okay, game park console. Sorry, we're just, I'm just looking at all of the stuff that comes pre-installed here, guys. So why don't, why don't I talk to you about the overall spec of the machine a little bit as well. Let's find out what the overall spec is. Oh, I don't know how to right click with the uh, touchpad, so let's just go ahead and do this. Okay, so this is a Core i5-650, so it's at 3.2 gigahertz. That is a dual core Core i5. So we have four gigs of RAM. Uh, in terms of our video card, I think we already mentioned this before, but it is a GeForce 310M 512Meg. And so we've got our uh, NVIDIA control panel here. That's pretty much your basic specs. What do we have in terms of storage? Yeah, I'll, don't worry, I'll have a look at that in a minute. Uh, oh, right, wrong thing. Let's go computer. So in terms of storage, we have a 500 gig drive in here by the look of things. What's this? Okay, so we've got e-sharing, fun touch, e-experience, e-tools. Why don't we do e-sharing? What's e-sharing? Ooh, web storage, okay. E-amuse, okay, so this is basically just Quick links to the stuff that we've already been having a look at here. So the Paint, Journal, Sonic Master, okay, cool. So you can pretty much get rid of all those desktop shortcuts and just use this. So Game Park. Okay, let's not worry too much about Game Park right now. I wanna go back to this one. I am all about the Vibe Fun Center because that sounds pretty good. Oh, uh, okay, back in a sec. All right, so this is what we find. So there's something about music. Yeah, you know, local artist Carrie Underwood. I really don't think she's a local artist where I'm from, but that's okay. Uh, we've got games, we've got radio. So I can listen to like local top 40 stations and all that kind of stuff. Okay, learning. Dr. Chinese, elementary Chinese, unit one. Aya. Oh, okay, no, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Okay, there's lots of Chinese lessons here. Why don't we try Action Chicken Invaders 3? Let's try playing this game. Okay, give me a sec. I'll see how long it loads. Okay, so far the sound seems pretty good here. I'm just in the uh, demo mode. So this is Chicken Invaders, Revenge of the Yoke. Why don't we go with uh, start new mission here? Okay. And there's a fork. There's a fork for the pointer, so... Oh, nice, nice. Okay, so this is just a, a 60 minute demo, basically. But you use your mouse to, you know, do this. So basically this is a way for your kids to download stuff on your computer and that you'll have to remove later for the most part. Oh, you can eat all like the burgers and like chicken wings. I don't know why burgers come out of the chicken when you blow it up, but uh... Okay, you can tap the fire button for single shots or hold it for continuous fire. That is a Death Star with a yoke. And that is some good taunting going on. Okay, I think we're done. Um, so thank you for checking out my video. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos, and evidently gameplay footage from Chicken Invaders.